Okay, so many of you might wonder how a hydraulic cylinder works. And it's actually quite interesting how, it, uh, how it's designed. Here I have one taken apart. And this is a three and a half inch bore, which means the inside from the diameter here, three and a half inches. And the rod is a two inch diameter. And this one goes inside of the piston. So, well, inside of the housing, I guess. This here is called the piston with the seals, and this is the cap, and this is the cylinder, and this is the uh, rod. So what happens is when you put hydraulic oil into this port, it actually flows on this side of the piston, and it fills up the cavity with oil, and it ends up putting pressure on this piston, pushing it that way, meaning it will retract the rod. Then if I switch it around and put oil pressure into the inlet port, it puts the oil pressure on this side and puts the pressure that way and pushes the rod out. Now, an interesting feature of this is there's a little bit of a lip here. So the piston itself, when it's all the way extended, it actually hits this little lip which means there's a bit of a gap in between, and that gap is about a quarter inch, a little bit less. But this gap is exactly on the inside where the hole um, for the oil inlet is. And so that way, even if the piston is all the way extended and it hits here, there's still enough gap for the oil to flow in here and exert a pressure out.